Rebecca Schulte. I'm a senior and I'm design editor for The Daily. I think spring 2020 transitioning from in person to online was kind of really nice because I got to stay at home, have my computer, do everything on my own time. I love to set pages up a day early. I'm more of a person who works ahead than later, especially like election week. I was super excited about this cover. I was like, this is kind of a once in a lifetime opportunity. I got the presidential election. Like we've got four more years until another one comes around. I can fall into this trap where I get up five minutes before I have to go to class, but in order to do all the other things I want to do, I had to teach myself not to do that. And another benefit of it is that I've been able to manage my time overall better with my classes. I can basically do them whenever I want. I make sure to get out more because if I don't go on a run or do some sort of exercise, I'm basically sitting in the same office the whole time. Having everything going on here and cooking at home if I'm not forcing myself to try new things or forcing myself to set aside time, then I'm just sitting down there and I'm focusing on nothing but school. It was definitely a weird experience. I didn't enjoy it. Uh, my grades suffered from it. I just couldn't, I couldn't really focus uh, on school while trying to learn online at home. I think I was doing better last year as opposed to this year, but this year I feel like I am more motivated just because I don't know like if this is, you know, this is like, oh, this is the last time I'm going to class. Like after this, it's going to be online. So like, I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do like my best. It's like trying to drown out the noise or in like the, um, pretty much anything that would take my focus away from what I need to get done. So instead of doing homework in my room, I'll try to come out to the kitchen where I won't be tempted to just turn on the TV.